morning, everybody. Watching Echo Wood Holsteins. Today we got a project. Uh, we are selling uh, semi loaded spring and heifers. So we got 40 heifers on this paper. And we've got to sort them out. We've just got too many animals right now. We've got heifers laying in the alley and just too many, too many animals for our farm. So we need to sell some. And the milk price, the milk price isn't very good. And the heifer price is still up decent because beef is worth so much that's holding the cow prices up. So we're, we need to sort, there's, we're in the dry cow pen right now. There's like 15 in this pen. And then the rest are down at my house with the pregnant heifers. And um, it, it'll help a lot, relieve some pressure on these pens because there's just too many heifers. We need to, need to get rid of them and sell them. Somebody else can use them worse than we can. Works out good for both. So yeah. we're gonna sort them is what we're gonna do is put all the ones we need here in the back alley. The headlocks are full right now. Everybody's up there eating. They're not locked, but they're full. And the stalls are all full. You can just tell there's too many in here. So we'll start sorting. It's how we're gonna do this. I'm gonna go around the front and I'm gonna bring anybody we need around here to the back. And so when we get done, the ones we need will end up in the back. And the ones we don't need will be in the front. And we'll load them down there in the end of the barn. So. Okay, so we got them all sorted out here. Semi's here, ready to load, but he doesn't know yet. They're not getting loaded here. We're taking them down to my house with the bigger group, and we're gonna load them all at once. So, Jaren, you wanna go get the trailer and back it up right here, okay? second big group of heifers or the bigger group is here lock yeah we gotta lock them in i'm gonna go behind jaren and i'll get them locked in we'll get that one out of there all these in here as you can tell by my clothes it's not going so hot but it's the way it is working with cows sometimes shouldn't see it ain't going that bad just that I got really poopy crap it's got clean clothes so once we get them loaded just have to go change So I'm gonna go get a pen and I'm yep. gonna look through and make sure that they're on there. Oh, she's laying down. Yep. We had a heifer that stepped on something with her foot, so we took her home and trimmed her in the chute and she's struggling a little bit, but she's getting better. That's why she was separated with these. We keep her over here so she doesn't have to walk very far. Hey, Leah. Come here, Leah. Come here. Hey, here's your, here's your debut. Come here. Come here, Leah. So this is Leah. She is our puppy. Right, Leah? Yeah, Leah. 
She's a nice dog. She's actually half German Shepherd and half Yellow Lab. Black lab. You think it's Black Lab? I think they said Yellow Lab. I don't think so. Okay, I'll back it up in here. I'm actually thinking we probably sold these efforts too cheap. They'll probably bring, they would probably bang, bring for beef what we sold them for. Their beef price is really high and these are some big efforts. But, that's the way it is. Milk prices aren't very good. Um, so, the only thing holding the springing heifer price up really is the call price. So we might as well take advantage of it because we just have too many animals. Yes. Yeah. We didn't strap it yet. We're going to right or wrong or. Oh, we shouldn't have to now. Well, they won't yes. leave it. They won't leave it tucked in the corner I like think that. So. Come and take a look. Right. Right. Okay, he's got four up in the nose. Now we need fourteen. Seven back here. Eight left. Eight? There's eight. Okay, 40 heifers on there. So we want him to run them across the scale to see what the weight is on them and make sure, just to see what we're getting for them actually. So appreciate it, fellas. Thank you. Yeah, thank you. Now we got the most important part. We got to get paid for them. We can't, never forget that part, Jared, as you're growing up, okay? What? Oh, yeah. Never get paid walk for away them. without a check, all right? <laughs> <laughs> next thing you have to worry about is Clay. That's the next thing you have to worry about. Are you trying to make me worry, Clay, or what? Yeah. I know Clay for a long time. I know his will be good. <laughs> we're, getting, we're at a pretty good amount we're getting for them, but the amount we got into them is probably just as much or more, so. There's nothing fair about this whole thing. The only good thing is we uh, they're going to a good place, I think, and uh, this guy will come back. He's gonna buy more. Yeah, I, I guarantee. When he's, if they came out right, we're gonna have a good customer here. 
He's just a good, good young guy. He just started a year and a half ago with his deer in. He took over for Weaver. Remember Weaver down there? Yeah. He was managing it for 15 years, and he just took over Weaver's job. Huh. So, and, and I can't remember her name. Koika. Koika, yep. They both, both moved to Texas, and he's taking over her job, and he's kind of managing them from Texas, I guess.